What's up guys? Welcome back to Ride the Bean! Today I am headed towards the southernmost tip of Norway, Lindesnes. And uh, on the way I'm gonna see some, uh, some really cool places. I know there's a tunnel for hammocks I've heard about. I wanna go check that out. And then uh, there are some really nice roads and some, uh, well, I don't know. We'll see what happens today. I'm back on the road. Let's go have some fun and see some beautiful things. It's called Sundalstrand. Apparently this is supposed to be a really beautiful place. I was recommended to go here, so let's go check it out. My stepbrother recommended that I stopped here. Apparently this was a trading post. When it was built back in the 17 and 1800s, it had its heyday in the 1800s. But when they built the road in the 1900s, uh, this stopped being of such importance. Now it's one of the biggest tourist places in this part of Norway. Very beautiful, very interesting. All of these houses that you see were built in the in the 1700s some in the 1800s. It smells beautiful walking through the streets here. The aromas are awesome. They have a lot of like bakeries and restaurants. There's a hotel here, a cafe. They have a lot of fish, fish restaurant, fish food here. I don't really like seafood. It makes me nauseous. I don't think I'll, I'll eat here, but uh, it's Ah, I'm glad I came here. It was really beautiful. Definitely worth the visit. I would recommend coming here if you're ever in this part of Norway. Right, this was a fun stop. Now let's go check out a tunnel with some hammocks in it. Whatever that means. This, uh, this place. I saw a sign and it, I, it looked really strange. So I just uh, figured I'd check it out. Apparently, this big boulder is the biggest boulder that you can move in Northern Europe by hand. It weighs 30 tons. I don't know how to push it. Or, I don't get it. I think uh, I'm special to see you. Let's go to Det var ikke så slag. Jeg har et mart et håndmerke. Har du noe ditt da? Nei. Det er ikke mye å gjøre på seg. Det er så vitt, ja. Er det der, ja? Det er en strange stone. Jeg moved a 30 ton stone boulder. Med min hånd. Ikke mye. 
few millimeters, but still, <laughs> that's funny. And this is a place where um, a German ship called Altmark was uh, boarded by uh, British Marines uh, in February of 1940, right before the invasion, or a couple months before the invasion of Norway. This was the scene of one of the first acts of war during the Second World War in Norway. And I think it was eight German soldiers who got killed and they were buried somewhere. Over here, I think uh, the tunnel that we're looking for is after that tunnel. I stopped a little bit too soon, but this is also a pretty nice, nice spot. Interesting to learn the, the history about this place. Hello. Good morning. Since it's been sick, hello. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the shorts Du er for unge. <laughs> det er noe er stilig å se på, men... Uh, er, jeg kan, du kan jo ikke kjøre grus med dem, så jeg ser jeg liksom ikke. <laughs> Nei, du vet ikke. Sånn kjører vi der, vet du ikke det. Det er artig å kjøre motorsykkel. Den er med beste for på tur mye, han. Jeg har aldri begynt for tidlig. Nei, nei. Yes, nei. yes. Nå tror du det er fucking. Men du må gjøre takk for ikke mot det. Men... I found the tunnel. <laughs> there was no parking here. It's very dark. Ooh, this is a bit strange. Apparently, this was a functional tunnel like a long time ago, but uh, I don't know the history of why they converted it to whatever it is now hammock tunnel. Huh. Look at this. Oh, this is a pretty nice place. Let's uh, see what the history is here. This was apparently one of the craziest roads in Norway when it was built in... Was it 1925 it was finished? And it cost 1.3 million kroner at that point. Here you can see they, they put up these hooks that you can put your hammock in. That's pretty cool. It would be nice to sleep here, but I, it's too early in the day. I'm not going to camp just yet. I'm going to head all the way down to Lindesnes today. It's pretty long. You can fit quite a lot of hammocks in here. If you don't have a hammock, you can rent one here for 100 kroner. And they want you to pay about 100 kroner to, to hang here as well. And the money goes to uh, keeping up all the, all the trails and everything in these mountains. There's a lot of like nature areas and trails and things that needs upkeep. If you are ever in this region of Norway, this is a cool place to sleep. Right, let's get back on the road and head down south.
are here. The most southern tip of Norway. So let's go up and have a look at the lighthouse. And uh, have a look around, see where we are actually. Sorry about the, the, the audio. It's very windy today. Let's go up and have a look at the view and uh, the lighthouse. This is very southern tip of Norway. I don't remember exactly, but now we're 2,300 or 600 something something kilometers away from the northern cape where I originally planned to start my journey. Now I'm all the way at the opposite end of the country. Very strange. or I don't know, whatever. Oh, oh cool. Oh, there's an exhibition in here. It's a lighthouse exhibition. Ah, and here is Linda's Ness at night. I guess this is a really good place to start your journey if you're going to travel up Norway. Because here we have Lindesnes, where we are right now, southernmost tip of Norway, and then all the way up here is North Cape. I live in Trondheim, which is here. And on this journey, I have been riding down the west coast, crossing all of these fjords down to Bergen, around here, and Stavanger, around here. Yesterday, I was here, and now I'm all the way down here. And then I'm going to continue around the coast here probably up to Oslo, which is here, and then go here, up back to Trondheim. That is the plan of this, and we'll see if it changes at any point. This is the old tower that's on top here. It was the old, like, wood-burning tower. You can see there's a little wood fire in there. Well, this type of lighthouse was built in 1822. In 1655, the Danish king decided that this place should have a lighthouse. And in 1687, the Danish king Christian V created a, a law that made uh, taking a fire or a lighthouse punishable by death. Ah, huh. that's interesting. Oh, this was cool. Always interesting to learn a little bit of history. Well, this was fun. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching. I had a lot of fun today. I saw a lot of cool places. Now it's getting late and I just, I'm just gonna go look for a campsite, put up my tent and, uh, and go to sleep. 
I don't know where that will be, but pretty close by, I think. So, good night. See you tomorrow.